So guys, this is frozen potato leaf. If you like what you see, kindly be patient and let's get into the video. It's as simple as A, B, C, okay? to need. So this is um, one of the hard chicken. One chicken. And then on top of it, I have half an onion. I have two tablespoons of Maggi seasoning and no two tablespoon of chicken seasoning and then i have one tablespoon of cam pepper so to that i'm going to add one dry catfish i'm not going to do anything to it just drop this in there like so i'm going to boil this for one hour 13 minutes because it's the hard chicken and it's going to take a long time okay so if you use the other soft chicken then it shouldn't take that long it should only take about 15 minutes and then take it out and fry it but because this is hard so i want it to be softened to the bite so i'm going to take longer time to cook it so i'm going to cook this and then i'll come back with the finishing product of the cook one of course don't forget your water okay don't forget to put some water on it to be cooked for today is some red oil which is just right there one onion three scotch bonnet because it's quite hot and some salt and of course we have our frozen potato so guys this is our frozen potato leaf which i have cut a week prior to this video put it in the freezer so when i'm ready to cook it it'll be easy for me i don't have to work extra so guys i have peeled and washed my onion now I'm just going to slice it. I have sliced our onion. Now I'm just going to pound it into the mortar. So now that's it. Now we're just going to heat up our stove. So inside the pot, go in with your red oil. Onion and scotch bonnet guys please make sure please make sure you wear some gloves because the um, scotch bonnet is quite hot so in there give this about two minutes to fry and then you come in so now empty your photo to leave with a bowl Guys, also make sure you wear some gloves for this because it's very cold. So just smash any ice. It's also leaf. Look at this stubborn one here. Just do it like that. So it'll be easier when you're going to put this. was about five bundles of potato leaf. You can also buy the frozen one which somebody has already cut for you but I prefer doing my own. So that's all ready. We're going to put this now inside the pot. So that's the pot. If you guys notice, I did not put any water to this because of the frozen potato leaf has a lot of water. So it was just the oil and my scotch bonnet with onion. Okay, so now go with your potato leaf on top of this. got to mention go in with some hogri so this is the hogri you can pick this at your local african shop so i'm going to pound this and then put it on top of our potato leaf okay this is fermented sesame seeds guys this is it after pounding because it's frozen so you have to pound it in order for your can you see it's shrinking it looks full but it's not full at all it will shrink after cooking so you go in with your lid on top of that and you come and check it after five minutes so put your heat to low if you have good for you but put your heat to low okay because you want this to cook through not burn it so guys now that's it so I will put it grain to stir that up beautiful Look at the beauty in this guys stir it up leave the lid on again for another five minutes 
Okay, and we'll come and add our fish and our chicken with, together with our seasoning, okay? So guys, now we go in with our fish. So guys, now we're going to go in with our Maggi cubes. So we had two Maggi cubes. Now we're going in with some salt. Of salt. Combine all your flavors together. So guys, can you see apple? Go in with half a teaspoon of bake, baking soda just so that it will help it dissolve and it will smash. Um, let me say it in my language so you go ever let mass, mass, you know. So, this is it. This is what we have in so far, guys. <laughs> now go in with your chicken. So this is the chicken. Go in with your chicken. Oh. Guys, now go in with a uh, half a tablespoon. Go in with half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of dry okra. Just sprinkle this on top. This is so that it can seal the whole cooking together, and that's it. So this is going to act as a thickener, just like corn flour. But we use okra for this. Okay, this is dry okra. So this is what the okra container look like. You can pick this at your local African shop, okay? Mine is almost finished. Yes, I'm running out. I need a new one. So now mix this up, stir it up, whatever.
yes guys this is our potato grain our frozen potato leaf yes this is it this is how it turned out with no water added to it guys can you see how beautiful this look can you guys see how delicious this look this is it guys very easy so this is how you cook frozen potato leaf guys this is the finished look okay this is looking delish delish thank you all so much for watching so you can serve this with your rice and enjoy yourself okay this is it take a closer look into my pot there is no adding of any water because you know it's already frozen potato leaves so this is it thank you all so much for watching and thank you thank you to all my subscribers the upcoming and the ones that have already subscribed thank you let's build this channel together you guys are the best of the best and you all stay blessed till next time okay bye bye